Hi, so we're going to start with a new topic in this particular lecture and that is opioid analgesics. Now very very important for your examination point of view and these are very strong analgesics. Uh, so let's see what they are and where are they used and how are they going to produce their effect. Now, before I actually get into these opioid analgesics, we'll just see what few terms which are uh, used and which are important for you to know. Opioids and opioids. Opioids and opiates may fara kya. So opiates are the naturally occurring compounds. Okay? So they are naturally found in opium. And they are called as opiates. For example, morphine. Opioids are compounds which, uh, these are the compounds which do not occur naturally. They are not found in this opium, do not occur. So they can be synthetic or semi-synthetic. So they do, they do not occur naturally. But the action resembles that of morphine. For example, drug is pethidine. So they are opioids because they resemble morphine in the reaction, but they're not found naturally. So this is the difference between opiates and opioids. Now what's an analgesic? Analgesic is an agent or a drug which relieves pain, any kind of pain. And the pain can be relieved by action on periphery, and by the action on the central nervous system. So any mechanism that is relieving pain or any drug or any substance which relieves pain, we call it as an analgesic. Now these analgesics, you know, they are of two broad types. We have opioid analgesics, which we are going to do in this chapter, in this lecture, opioid analgesics. And we have non-opioids or non-opioids or non-opioid analgesics. They are analgesics, but they are not opioids. So the non-opioid analgesics may, the example are of the drug which come under non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. They are analgesics, but they are not opioids. So for this, you can refer to my lecture on the NSAIDs. The other group that we're going to do are the opioid group of analgesics. Now again, these opioid analgesics or the opioids, uh, they are present are in our body itself. Endogenous opioids, just say they are analgesics, they function inside the body. So they are endogenous, which are present in our body. And they can be exogenous. That means we are giving them from outside, like these drugs, which we give them from outside. Endogenous which are body mein naturally which are present are the endorphins and kephalins and dinorphins. Exogenous according to the source if we want to classify them. So whether they are naturally occurring whether they are semi-synthetic or they are completely synthetic. So naturally occurring, we have an example already we have done that is morphine. Then we have another example of a drug, codeine. Then thebane. Papa, Varine. These are few naturally occurring opioids. Semi-synthetic may, so they are not completely synthetic, they are not completely natural. It's a blend of two. So it is full codeine. Then we have heroin. Then we have oxycodone. Synthetic, completely synthetic jo hai. We have drugs like pethidine, 
we have tramadol we have methadone we have fentanyl remifentanyl and so on and so forth these are the drugs which are synthetic in nature so ye hamari hogi classification of the opioids exogenous jo hote hain according to the source whether ye natural occurring hai ya semi synthetic hai ya synthetic hai so these are the opioid analgesics about which we are going to study in these uh, in these series of lectures on opioid analgesics ab we know any drug which produces an effect it produces effect by means of action on the receptors so what are the receptors on which these drugs are going to act they are classified into three major types mu kappa delta so they are present in the central nervous system mainly so they are mu kappa and delta see these are very important receptors for the opioids sabse zyada important isme hai mu receptor and the various effects which these opioids show by action on these receptors you can remember by a mnemonic called as c dreams theek hai hum sare dreams dekhte hain don't write s w e c it's like c dreams so remember these this mnemonic and we'll see what each of this alphabet stands for and by this you can remember the various effects on these receptors it's very important therefore the mnemonic will help you in remembering this so c stands for constipation theek hai so all these opioids they act on the receptors and they tend to cause constipation now this constipation is maximally seen with effect on delta and even on sab mein hai par zyada tar mu aur delta mein act because of the mu and delta receptors so agar opioid teeno pe kaam kar raha hai all all three receptors it is going to produce constipation and definitely uh this uh, can be a side effect or agar ab diarrhea mein de raha koi koi drug it can be a desirable effect right d stands for dysphoria or hallucinations jisko hum kehte hain theek hai or d for dysphoria it is mainly because of the effect on the kappa so kappa effect is mainly responsible for dysphoria this is one primary effect jo aur kisi ki wajah se nahi hai ye kappa so remember dysphoria is because of kappa then r stands for respiratory depression notorious hai opioids to cause respiratory depression and this respiratory depression is mainly because of action on the mu receptors it is seen by delta somewhat by this but mainly mu receptors ki wajah se respiratory depression in patients mein hota then e stands for euphoria in some patients it can the patient can feel euphoria exclusively because of mu eu mu euphoria muphoria euphoria muphoria it is because of the mu not because of anything else the most important effect though it comes because of mnemonic thoda late aaya but otherwise this is the most important effect that is analgesia aur jo ye analgesia hai ये इफेक्ट आता है बाय एक्शन एट द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड के लेवल पे सुपरा स्पाइनल लेवल पे ये एट द पेरिफेरी बिकॉज देर आर रिसेप्टर जब प्रेजेंट ऑन ऑल थ्री एरिया स्पाइनल कॉर्ड के एरिया में सुपरा स्पाइनल एरिया में और पेरिफेरी जहां चोट लगी है उसके अराउंड तो दीज ड्रग्स कैन हैव इफेक्ट ऑन द रिसेप्टर्स ऑन ऑल दीज एरियाज एनल जी सी के बात करें अगर स्पाइनल कॉर्ड के बी लू द मकैनिज्म की कैसे पेन होती है एंड मीटर द रिसेप्टर्स वेन यू टॉक अबाउट देर एक्शन सो फॉर नाउ द स्पाइनल कॉम्पोनेंट अगर स्पाइनल कॉर्ड के लेवल पे इसने एनल जीजिया करना है विच इज द मोस्ट और विच आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिसेप्टर्स प्रेजेंट एट दो लेवल सो वी हैव न्यू रिसेप्टर्स एंड द डेल्टा रिसेप्टर्स टू सम वॉट देर आर कापा रिसेप्टर दीज रिसेप्टर्स आर प्रेजेंट जिसकी वजह से इफेक्ट आता है एनल जीजिया का on the spinal cord level then supra spinal level pe kaun se receptors present hai agar hum supra spinal level ki baat kare sabse zyada important aate hain mu receptors aur agar periphery ki baat kare on the periphery now because you know initially it was said that uh, 
periphery may opioids may or may not have a role we know what is present here nsaids have better effect on the peripheral pain and central action jo hai wo zyada tar because of the opioids that deal with it but not periphery may be there are certain receptors are found and it has an effect on these receptors like the mu and the kappa so they have effect on the the agonistic effect on these receptors and they tend to cause analgesia very important effect m stands for meiosis again it can lead to meiosis and m for meiosis m for mu mostly because of the mu receptor and the last s इट इज सिडेशन इट कैन कॉज जो भी चीज एक्चुअली अगर एनलिजिया करती है सो बिकॉज वो रेस्परेट सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम में थोड़ा डिप्रेस करेगी पेन नॉल इट कैन कॉज सिडेशन इट्स गुड इन केस ऑफ एनलिजिया वे यू वॉन्ट टू रिलैक्सेशन कामनेस चाहिए वेन द पेन इज बिंग रिलीव अगेन इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द एक्शन ऑन मेनली म्यू एंड कापा रिसेप्ट सो दीज आर द वेरियस इफेक्ट्स विच आर सीन बाय एक्शन ऑन द opioid receptor so remember the mnemonic that is c dreams c dreams these are very important effects please remember them c dreams theek hai constipation dysphoria dysphoria mein aapko yaad rakhna because kabhi mcq aata it is it is because of exception hai na ye only isme mu ka effect nahi it's only because of the effect in the kappa रेस्पिरेटरी डिप्रेशन हो गया बाकी सारी चीजें में हर चीज में म्यू कॉम्पोनेंट है आप हर जगह म्यू बिकॉज जो भी ड्रग्स म्यू एगोनिस्टिक है मेनली ऑल दीज ड्रग्स जो एगोनिस्ट होते हैं म्यू पे तो एगोनिस्ट होती होती हैं तो ऑल दीज इफेक्ट आर सीन बट डिस्फोरिया क्यों होएगा अगर वो कापा पे भी एगोनिस्टिक है तब सबसे ज्यादा डिस्फोरियन उनमें चांसेस होते हैं ठीक है सो दीज आर द वेरियस इफेक्ट सीन बाई इफेक्ट ऑन दी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिसेप्ट